What's your last name, Roberson? Roberson. It's Roberson, I've been knowing you for a long time. You've been with me the whole time. I was uh, called by Bobby Worthy, and I thank Malik Shabazz from the Black Lawyers for Justice, yeah. uh, even started out in your case. Yeah. Um, I believe that what happened, in, it was in your house, right? In my house, was in front the, of me. Yeah, it was, was, was the worst that I've ever seen. And what I don't understand, we tried to get Al Sharpton and others down, uh, but we was unsuccessful. But it's something about the pendulum that swings in the universe. It swings from left to right. Mm -hmm. But if you cry long enough mm -hmm. in the wilderness, the echo from the soul of the man will reach another man if the man got a soul in him. Yeah. So I'm hoping that somebody that got a soul inside of him will listen to your story. Now, what's your name again? Diane Robertson. Diane Robertson, uh, what was the name of your son? Jack, Jack Robertson. Jack Robertson Jr. Jr., yes. Okay. Uh, your situation is so unique. Yes. Until, if you don't mind, uh, I know you did have Bobby Worthy. He was all fired up about that because when he called me over and I, I went there that day. But just explain to us. Uh, I don't want to get into much detail because we already got the video on that. Right. But give a, give the people like Al Sharpton and, and 60 Minutes and 48 Hours and Dateline, H-E-L-E, give them what happened to your son. Well, oh, when did it happen, by the way? October the 4th, 2013. Okay. On his father's birthday. Okay. Yes, it was uh, like any, any other morning. We got up that morning. And this was in Waycross? Waycross, Georgia. Where yes, where, where kind. Okay. And um, I went, I left and went to the pharmacy and I got back and uh, his fiance. Say, Mama, um, Lamar's not feeling well. That's what we call him, Lamar. And so he, he had taken some diabetic medication. And uh, I don't know what it had done to him or what type of effect or anything. I don't know what happened. But uh, he wasn't quite himself, but he was, you know, he was okay. So we called, she called, his fiance called. We, we sent a call out for help for him. EMS. Instead, we got two carloads of cops that walk in and was well, it city or county? City, city. And um, uh, they came in so fast. My son was in the kitchen, and he um, he came out the kitchen, and it was an officer to my left. There was an officer at the door, and they came in, and my son walked in, and he had a statue in his hand. And uh, I remember them asking him uh, something, and he wouldn't respond. And uh, it happened so quick. Mm -hmm. It was like a movie. It was just unbelievable. I just couldn't believe it. All of a sudden, the Cosmill drew his gun. I'm standing, he look closer to me. I mean, you are too. Mm -hmm. He actually pulled the gun out. The other officer opened the screen door mm -hmm. and started firing nine times in front of me. Mm -hmm. I saw nine bullets going my son's mm -hmm. head all over. Back, everything. My grandbaby, eight years old at the time, she was outside, she saw it. His fiance, I saw it close up, and it didn't come. I saw the blood come out. I saw the blood, I saw his head. I saw it go down. And I, I said, Are you sure? I, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And I, when I close my eyes, sometimes 
about a group of black citizens being a part of a militant organization. Mm -hmm. And you were so distraught there, you couldn't hardly talk. And so I see that you have matured or you've gotten a little more used to it. So I sympathize with you, as you said, you have moved forward and it shows. Yeah. And I guess uh, I used to hear the old saying that uh, time heals all wounds. But sometimes the spare of the moment bring them wound right back. All the time. And this is something that black people across this nation are experiencing now. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I don't want to take this out of the left field, but it seems to me now that white people are beginning to feel a little bit of the black pain and the black experience. And they are willing to step up to the plate even with Black Lives Matter and wearing Black Lives t-shirts. Yes. And this is something that is happening not only in Georgia and America, but around the world. I see. And so I personally believe that the time has come now mm -hmm. yes. for people to stand up. Yes. Uh, and, I, and I want to thank you. You rode the waves with me up and down, round and round. And I want to thank you, Olivia Cole. You were there. You all rode the waves with me. You were there with me, especially you, George. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I wonder, I wonder sometimes, how do those officers feel, mm -hmm. you know, with their families? You know, he, I know, I, believe it or not, I thought, I, I thought of them. I want to see how they live in their life, mm -hmm. you know, with their family. Yeah. I see the little boy yes, that has grown up. Yeah. My granddaughter was eight when she saw her father murdered. Mm -hmm. Okay, his son was small. He has gotten large. He would be surprised, Casey Coswell, if he knew what I know about his family. He would be surprised. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't think I haven't forgotten. It's not a day go by. Those two officers and I, they took part of my life. Mm -hmm. I carried him for nine months. Mm -hmm. I carried that child. And he grew up to be a wonderful man. He was a veteran. He served in the war. Wow. He got two medals. He took he went on secret missions to Bahrain. He got a letter from President Obama. He did all of that. I bet you can't show me where either one of those officers to kill my son did any of those things for their country except kill my son. Took him, took him away from his children and his mother, his sister. If it hadn't been for his sister, I couldn't have made it. 
She had to do everything. I was not in any shape. All I could see was boom, 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 blood. I, I remember your sister. Uh, your, si your sister. Your sister. Your daughter. Your daughter. Hey, you, you yeah, Trey, yeah, I met her. I went to Atlanta yeah. and, yes, and yes. talked to her. Yeah. She did everything. I, yeah. I wasn't in shape. Right. I remember. I'm just coming around now yeah. to where I can talk a little bit about it. Okay. Break it down. Okay. Did, so, short form, uh, did, did, did your case go to court? Did you get into justice? Or? No. No, but they did. One of them got promoted. I think when I think they were off, you know, they, I guess they let them, I don't know how long they were off from work, but the, the I don't know, the police chief or whatever he was, Tanner, he made a statement that made the newspaper, he couldn't wait till his officers come back to work, and he promoted one of them as, a, you know, I guess that was to kill a, a young, another black man, I don't know, but he promoted them. You know. But there, there, there's a word on the street that if you kill an end, you get a promotion. In, that song, in the black community, I we all it. heard. I it. believe it. I believe it. And now that the world has seen what we have all seen mm -hmm. these past few months, mm -hmm. then maybe it's our time. Because being here in this small town like we are, mm -hmm. we're not getting any justice mm -hmm. at all, right. at all. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you have to crawl before you walk. Yeah. Because I wonder. What's going to happen? Am I going to get justice for my son? Am I? And all of a sudden, one of the, those, uh, I don't want to be rude, but one of those guys decided to take somebody's life by kneeling on his neck. Mm -hmm. And the world saw it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, all of the unheard cases are coming out. God knows how many they have killed. God knows how many they have killed, and we just don't know. We don't know how many they killed. We don't know, but somebody knows. Oh, God. And the news oh, media God. will not connect the dots. If we know of all these people that I call, yes. that I just know about, mm -hmm. I'm not everywhere. Right. We can only imagine how many others right. people know about. Mm -hmm. You know, in Brooks County, Earl Evan was a basketball player, good basketball player. Okay. And he was working with the police department in Quitman. People have forgotten about him, but I haven't. That young man was dating a white woman, and they found him burned up in a police car there in Quitman. Wow. And shot. And nothing was done about it. Well, and that was in the round of... Mm, it was in the 70s, because oh, I was in the military then. Okay. And what happened is that I wrote about that back in the late 70s mm. to the Philadelphia News when they used to have that out there. Mm -hmm. And so I've been at this a long time. And, and, mm -hmm. and the Wootens and the Demps and, and others that they killed in Brooks County and, and no justice have been received. No. There are so no, many souls crying out from the woods of this area until only God is able to go up. Only God knows. Only God knows. Yes. And yeah. I just thank right. God for all of us coming together mm -hmm. to speak mm -hmm. and let the world know. Al Sharpton, mm -hmm. Rachel, Madeline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. Oprah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We need you all. Maybe. We, really do. we are begging. How many of us have to beg before we get something done? Exactly. We need help. H-E-L-P. Right. Help. Uh, uh, my, thing, my thing to you is, uh, I'm going to ask you like I did, uh, Francine. If you, if you, if you, Okay, I didn't turn it off. Go ahead on. If you had a minute to address I don't want to put all this on Al Sharpton, but if you had an opportunity to address former President Barack Hussein Obama mm -hmm. oh, wow. and Eric Holder, mm -hmm. oh yes, and maybe Miss Lynch, yeah. what would you say to them? Because when the, some of these people voted for all, we Representative Tyrone Brooks, mm -hmm. Senator Robert Brown, Helen Butler out of Macon, mm -hmm. Senator. Lucas, we all sent 
masterful interviews mm -hmm. of the people in Brooks County and the hell they was catching under Secretary of State Brian P. Kemp. And President Barack Obama didn't even say boo. Yes, I know. And I voted for him. Sure. And I believe that he was, he was a great president. Yes. But the truth must be told so all the lies can be exposed. He didn't come. The Democratic chair, DuBose Porter, we sent this information to him. Yes. He didn't give a damn about them black people. One lady in Brooks County, Latasha Hay, was one of the 12 people accused of voter fraud. She mm -hmm. died mm -hmm. from them bogus charges. Mm -hmm. And after four years, it was exonerated, but she was dead. Wow. Another lady, Luna Smart, was with them. Her first trial was a mistrial. Her second trial was a mistrial. Her third trial, they dropped all charges against her, and eventually all of them was exonerated. Mm -hmm. like and Lula Smart, and, and, and I'm not just starting this because she said this on national news okay. that she considered suicide, mm -hmm. but she didn't. So this is what the national news media networks mm -hmm. are doing by not covering the stories in these small towns. That's right, that's right. People are dying. Yes. yes. Uh, Mayor, Mayor Ann Whippleu's husband mm -hmm. fell in City Hall because of the hell hole they thrust upon her and he couldn't take it and he died from distress. Mm -hmm. No news media will talk about that. Mm -hmm. uh, Only according to District Attorney uh, George E. Barnhill, mm -hmm. only an uncertified news media organization mm -hmm. will publish this kind of news. Right. Because the certified news media mm -hmm. apparently don't give a damn. They don't. Give they, no. don't. Okay. they don't. I, I, can, I can agree with that. They don't give a damn. So what would you say to yeah. mm -hmm. those people, including the former president and our president, uh, Trump as well. What would you say to them? No, about you don't want me. You can't put what I want to say about Trump on there. I can't. Well, let's deal with Trump. Okay, but, okay, I would, um, I would call a meeting, and we would all sit down together, and I would ex tell them, explain what's going on. You see what's going on now. You see what's going on in the South, mm -hmm. all over the world. Right. We need you. Do something. Come down and see the struggle. Mm -hmm. Come see the struggle. Walk the walk with us. Talk the talk with us. Mm -hmm. Come and mingle with us and see what we have been through. I can show you some things better than I can tell you. Mm -hmm. I can show you some pain. I can tell you about the time I was taking pills and, and drinking. I wanted to die. I wanted to join my son. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go where he was. You know, because he died so violently. Right. Yes, come sit down and talk with me and other mothers and family members and George Boston Rhymes and Olivia, you and Olivia, I'm sorry, and um, all of us families. Just come down and listen up, listen to what we have to say. We need you. God knows we need you bad. That's all I can say. I'm pleading. Okay. I'm pleading, we need you, your help. Right. Help us. Okay, uh, with that being said, uh, if uh, President, former President uh, Barack Obama wanted to assist you, would you put a phone number or something or address something where he could contact you? Because I'm serious about this. I, yes. I've, done, I've done about everything I know. Yes, yes, yes. He can have anything. Get, Address, whatever you want. But give, me, give, give me your phone number here if you got okay. it. My phone number is 912-550-6826. You got it? Use it. Call me. I'm expecting a phone call from somebody. If, if you're going to do some good, use the number. If you're not, don't give, don't talk. You've been through a lot of I've been through a lot. I need help. We need help. Right. His daughters need help. His sister need help. We all need help. All of us as black people. 
And I just want to express my thanks again to the support that I received from you, George Ryan, and you again. I thank you all so much. And I'm pleased to have been here because I could have done this a year ago. I couldn't talk like this. I'm surprised I'm talking like I am now. I, I'm surprised. You know what? My daughter said, Mom, it's your time. You can do it. You ready. She said, you ready. I'm proud of myself. I got through to CNN. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yes, I did. Now, I'll tell you all later when I get some hope. Okay. Okay. Olivia uh, Holy Pearson, we can ready to close. Yes, sir. Uh, but I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask the same thing of you that I asked of everybody I interviewed today. And I may add that there are some more people that were supposed to be here today. Mm -hmm. They couldn't make it. I just may go to their cities. Mm -hmm. Sylvester's a good way. And I may go next week before I even think about putting this up. Mm -hmm. I may go and, and interview the mother up there that lost her son that got shot. Mm -hmm. Not shot. Ran over. Mm -hmm. By uh, Chef Dippin, and then he backed over him again. Mm -hmm. He didn't do it intentionally, I don't think, but that's what mm -hmm. happened. And so, uh, in me making that statement, I'm going to ask you the same thing I've asked the rest of them. Number one, if you could uh, get access to a national news media, mm -hmm. what would you say to them, number one? And what would you say to them? Prior to talking to the national news media, Mr. Rines, I want to say to my community, not just Coffee County, mm -hmm. my communities, Coffee, Ware, Sylvester, Limes, to our people who are suffering, we have to unite and come together. We must form a coalition to send a message to these, to, to the national news media, to law enforcement, to everybody, that we will not stand for the injustices anymore. We are serious about what is going on. We are tired. We are sick and tired of being tired. Mm -hmm. We demand justice. To the, to the news media, President Obama, former President Obama, President Trump. And it's hard for me to even address President Trump because to me it's like he wants to be a big joke. He doesn't take black people serious. All he wants from blacks is for the black vote. And it's time out, black people. It's time to wake up. We've lost too many, too many. We've lost too many. Because as I've said before on social media, right now it might be somebody else's child, one of Cooper's child, Amara Aubrey, Miss Francine's son, Lester Johnson, Miss Diane's son. But well, what about when that knock comes to your door and you've lost your child? What about? Then you're going to want people to come to your aid. So communities unite, form a coalition. And I, when I say communities, I'm not just talking about black people. White people, it's time for you to get involved and take a stand against what's wrong. It's time to take a stand. If it's wrong, it's wrong. I don't care who does it. If it's my mother, my father, my brother, my sister, if it's wrong, it's wrong. How can I say I love God when I see my fellow men being mistreated and killed for nothing? But then people, before the coronavirus, they want to run the churches every Sunday, Bible study every Wednesday. All that is in vain, people. Yeah. It's in vain because you're not living what you're preaching. All right. You got to get it right. Some people talk about, I'm praying, I'm praying. God don't fit. God ain't coming down here and fixing a damn thing. Because God gives us common sense and knowledge to know right from wrong and to do it. Preachers, it's time for y'all to get out y'all pulpit and come to the aid of people that suffer. Yes, yes. It's time out. Yes. It's time out. Yes. God is not pleased yes. with it. Justice. And he don't fix it when you can't come to your churches. Justice. You can't come to your churches. Justice. You cannot.
I'm telling you, God is watching, and he's not pleased. He's not at all. He's not pleased. National news media, we need coverage. Yes. We need coverage yes. in small rural towns. We are suffering. Yes. We are dying. Yes. We need national exposure to what's yes. happening yes. in rural communities. So that's the message I yes. was saying, Mr. Rhymes. Need a coalition of our so-called pastors and leaders to get involved with their church members who are suffering. Yes. God don't want no scared soldier. If you're scared, you ain't got no business being in the pulpit. Wow. God needs some bold soldiers Amen. to stand out yes. and stand up against racial injustice and inequality. Preach. Amen. Thank you, sir. Amen. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was wonderful. As a, wonderful, voice, wonderful, as a voice wonderful. that needs to be, to be heard. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. Commissioner Olivia Coley Pierce have been saying it better than anybody I know in recent history. Yes. Now, maybe if you would, just in case somebody out there, I'm not just talking about news media. Right. There may be some attorneys out there want to make some money. Yes. And so, do you have a phone number that you would like to share? with the people here. Yes, sir, thank you. 912-393-4629 is my telephone number that I can be reached on and my email, O underscore C-O-L-E-Y, O underscore Coley at yahoo.com. One more time. That's O underscore C-O-L-E-Y, O underscore Coley at yahoo.com. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to let you say a few words and then we're going to... You need your phone Yes, I need your phone number again. Frank C. and Kilby Thornton. My number is 912-292-3951. And again, we're asking, please come down to Coffee County because we need some justice in this county. We need some help. Yes. We need some help. Yes. Please, someone that sees this tape Send the GBI out of town somewhere to yeah, investigate yeah. George Bond Hill cases. Thank you. DOJ. Amen. Thank you so Amen. Much. Give me your phone number again at the end. 912-550-6826. Give me that name again. Diane Roberson. Diane Roberson. Jack Lamar Roberson. All right. Yes. Thank you so much. Once again, this is the Get Two Free Press. I'm George Walter Ryan. I want to thank each of you all for coming out today. Thank uh, you, we sir. call others. They could not make it for whatever reason, but they're not off the hook because I'm going to I'm going to the homes and visit them. All right. And see if we yeah, see if we can get them on camera. Yes, sir. And so we can pass this on to it might even need to go to the Justice Department. But the bottom line is yes. that, uh, we just thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you.